Okay, so I just realized I forgot to tell you guys why I'm here. Um, I'm here because Thursday, regular Thursday, doesn't have internet, but tomorrow, which is Friday, which is my day, she is going to have internet, so she just asked if we could switch, and so we did, and that's why I'm here. So now onto the video, which I apologize for. So yeah, bye guys. Hi everybody, so it's me again. Um... If you were here earlier, which you probably weren't because there's only 9 views on that video, but in my opinion I uploaded a great video and stuff, it was edited really nicely, eh, but I did put copyrighted music in it and I didn't realize that even though I said I didn't own it and stuff, but you know, you get what you get, so that's my fault, I'm the copyrighted music, and so I'm having to redo my video, and I'm really sad because I really like that video and of course the one day I decided to delete all my projects on iMovie because I thought I didn't need them is the one day I do need it because that always happens to me. So basically I'm just going to be doing like a recap of what I originally did and I'm also going to be showing you how I create like waves in my hair because um, I'm about to do it anyway so I thought why not. So to start off with the wave you're just going to want to comb out your hair. I'm fresh out of the shower. That's why I'm in my pajamas, because I just came to check on the videos and stuff, so yeah. So just comb through your hair and use a comb and not a brush, because a brush damages your hair. Um, your hair is most prone to damage when it's wet. And also, use a detangler if you have to, I just don't have one right now, so just comb through your hair. Calling all the video requests down. Okay, so now that that's done... I'm going to apply two hair products. One of them is the Not Your Mother's Smooth Mousse Hair Con Frizz Control Hair Cream. And since your hair is like wavy, it's going to be a little frizzy and like staticky. So that just helps with that. And then I'm also going to be applying the Paul Mitchell Express Style Ran Round Tip Liquid Curl Definer. And this is just going to, I know I'm not putting in curls, but it's like a form of curls. So this is just going to like really define them, which is like the name says. So I'm just going to apply these evenly throughout my hair and kind of like avoiding the very top of my hair so that my hair doesn't get greasy. <laughs> and so now I'm going to take this product, which is the Nexus Salon Hair Care Pro Men Split End Binding Targeted Leave-In Treatment Cream. And I'm just going to apply this to the ends of my hair. And this is just, you can't like permanently do it, but it's just going to help like bind my split ends together. Just to give like a more even look instead of like a really choppy, gross thing. Now is the fun part, which is when you get to apply mousse. And this is going to give you volume and it's going to like hold the wave. I'm going to die. Okay. And so you're just going to apply this all throughout your hair. I'm going to put your hair into two braids. And if you want like really wavy hair then you can do just like little chunks like this big and rubber band it with like these teeny tiny rubber bands but um to get my look i just do two rubber bands or like two braids so i'm just gonna do and luckily my hair like parts in half so just kind of braid your hair and so now my bangs get my way so i just like to use a headband to pull them back and so now you're just going to sleep by like this and by the morning your hair should be dry and if it's not you can just like quickly run a flat iron through your hair and that's also going to kind of like lock it in and yeah and also on the Paul Mitchell bottle it says it's for wavy hair types too so okay so now for a recap of like DIY hair things so the first way is how to reuse your old Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer bottles. And do I have one more here? No. Um, but basically, you're just going to want to peel off both, lip, both lip labels. And then you're going to want to use a product called Sticky Out from Elmer's. There's also Goo Gone. I don't know what brand it's from. But um, this just like removes anything like sticky residue wise. And like labels, crayons, labels most glue, stickers, tape, oil paint, rubber, cement, and more. So it's just going to take all that out, and then you're going to be left with like a clean, flat surface. And then you're going to fill the little bottle up with your shampoo or conditioner, 
Or if you like use a product like this, you can also put it in. Um, but not like mousse, because this actually turns to liquid after a while, which is really gross. <laughs> and then to make a label, you're just going to want to cut a piece of paper and then write shampoo, conditioner, whatever it is, on it. And then just tape it to the bottle, and then you're done. And to get the product out, you're just going to want to like squish it like you would with your regular shampoo. And I was just thinking about this earlier, but you can also do it with your lotion bottles and get like enough product for a week, like a mini lotion bottle. So this is actually what I'm going to be taking on my little mini vacation for my birthday. I'm going for a weekend, so this will be um, good. But if I was going away for like a week or maybe even two, I would use a mini lotion bottle. And so to create a DIY bobby pin holder out of your old body mist bottles, first off you're going to want to cut off this piece and then this piece you can just like you can just take off and then you're going to want to keep this piece because you're going to like put it on top and I think it's just easier and so you can just like stick your bobby pins in through here and then whenever you want some bobby pins you can just empty them out into your hands so that's super simple and now I'm again just gonna put like a like piece of text like in a clip of what um, haircut you should get for your face shape see I'm sorry this video was brushed and super bad again I'm having the best luck Last week I lost my camera, this week it's out of battery, and I deleted the whole clips of everything. So yeah, hopefully next week will be better. Hopefully my birthday, it's the 22nd, three more days away. Hopefully my birthday will make my luck better. So yeah, subscribe to the clap, subscribe to me if you really want to, but you probably don't want to with the way I'm being on this cloud, but I'm not normally like this. So yeah, lots of fun to do in this video still, and I'll have you guys next week. Bye.